Home staging tips, holiday edition. For folks trying to sell their house during the holidays, especially if you're occupying the home until it's sold, it can be tough to find that balance of still participating in all the fun and festivities of the end of the year, as well as simultaneously showcasing your house like a model home. So today I'm gonna to show you how to marry the two worlds. We're gonna very strategically apply a little bit of holiday decor as always, I'm gonna be focused on ROI with minimal upfront investment for the largest return possible. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica Monroe, I'm a realtor in the Bay Area and I specialize in Solano County. The same principles of staging that I always talk about also apply to holiday staging. So you wanna start with a blank canvas. You wanna declutter the space as much as possible. And then you wanna find an inspiration picture. Remember, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just wanna find an image that you can effectively and easily mimic. Now, I try to incorporate some 2023 design trends without over-designing. I still want an ode to the classic and timeless look. And luckily for 2023, they blend very seamlessly together. So looking at incorporating a lot of natural and neutral tones, natural elements such as wood and greenery, which is perfect for holiday, and then adding in touches of metallic that's gonna jump off the page, that's gonna put you on par with all the beautiful imagery we see all over social media, and that is what's gonna set you apart from all the other houses on market. So when we're thinking about return on investment, we obviously wanna be very careful about our upfront costs. So I'm a huge proponent of trying to utilize the decor that you already have perfectly fine if it doesn't mimic your inspiration picture perfectly. We just want to capture that overall feel and look that that picture provides. So for example, I've incorporated a garland that I already have, which mimics the picture perfectly. But if I were to really lean into today's trends, I'd probably incorporate some eucalyptus branches, maybe some velvet ribbon, but obviously we wanna be very careful about our upfront investment. So I opted for items that I thought would stand out more, such as metallics. So this bell set, for example, it was $15 on Amazon. I can't get over how sweet it is, how much it elevates the look and feel of a mantle. This is that special element that really mimics and captures the feeling in that inspiration picture. I also incorporated this wooden bead set. It's a 12 foot strand. I cut it in half just to help balance and offset the thickness of the garland. These two items combined were less than $40 and in my opinion, make the image. It captures everything that we feel when we're looking at that inspiration picture. And that type of emotional connection is what we want your buyers to feel. Especially if your home is a little bit dated or on the older side, incorporating some of these modern trends is going to paint the picture for the buyer. It's gonna allow them to see all the potential that your home holds. Let's move on to creating the most stunning Christmas tree, one that'll jump off the page to buyers, but one that you and your family can also really enjoy through the holiday season. My number one hack for creating a stunning tree with minimal upfront investment is to add ribbon. I know that sounds so simple, but you'd be surprised how much more polished your tree is gonna look. I usually like to go for about a three inch thick ribbon. It's really gonna help to fill out the tree. It's gonna reduce how many ornaments you need to put on it. It is incredibly time consuming. So if you're decorating a vacant house, might not be the right fit. I would just fill it with ornaments. But if you are planning to enjoy your house during the holidays while you're trying to sell it, this is gonna give you that wow factor. I'm gonna show you a couple quick tips that I've learned along the way that'll help shave hours off of this process. So as mentioned, I start with a three inch ribbon. I like it to have a little shimmer, just add some glamor. It's also gonna help pick up the light from the twinkles. This is inexpensive ribbon. It's only glittered on one side. There's no wire because I wanna be able to manipulate it as I wrap it around the tree. Now the ribbon to some extent is gonna wanna take its own shape. It's been wrapped around the spool for probably years. So I'll show you as I apply it to the tree, but as you unravel it, this ribbon's naturally gonna wanna take its own shape. This is what's gonna give you the effortless, airy curls that's really gonna add some dimension and fill out that tree. When you start to manipulate the ribbon too much, and this will happen for sure as you start to decorate the tree, you're gonna wanna retract and give it a little more slack. I also only decorate every other layer. So I start on the bottom level, skip a level of branches, head up in a slight 
diagonal direction. That's gonna limit how many times I have to wrap the tree. So I'm gonna let the ribbon, as mentioned, dictate how it wants to uncoil. And see how I'm just unraveling the ribbon? And it's already wanting to form its own curly cues. You'll notice that I flip and twist the spool to allow the ribbon to fall off more naturally, maintaining that airy shape. So this is a good example of what's too tight. So giving it more slack will allow that effortless feel. You're gonna have to rearrange to some extent every level as you make your way up the tree. You also have to trust the process. I know initially it doesn't look like anything major, but once you fill up the whole tree, it's gonna look really beautiful. For ornaments, I've gone a very classic and clean look. Notice that I don't have any specialized ornaments on here, such as Baby's First Christmas or any caricatures. Keep in mind, this is a staged tree. We are designing for the future buyer, not ourselves. Don't forget to take some evening pictures as well. That's what's really gonna capture the magic of the holiday season. All those twinkle lights are gonna shine. Remember, we're trying to evoke emotion in a buyer, so much so that they feel that they absolutely have to tour your home. We really have to lean into marketing this time of year to give your house the best opportunity to sell for the most amount of money possible in the shortest time frame.